comments he made at a private GOP fundraiser last spring. Okay. Yeah. Comments that were secretly videotaped without his permission. So rude. So wrong. Yeah, it's like the women's volleyball coach in my high school used to always say. You can't take people without their permission, Brian. <laughs> Okay, there was nothing wrong with them. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, let's do it. So you have this 47% that don't pay taxes. And these people are never going to vote for me. And when I talk about these people who don't pay taxes, I don't mean senior citizens. All right? And I don't mean members of our armed services. And I don't mean southern whites. <laughs> okay, what I mean is and real quick, no one is recording this, correct? <laughs> no? Okay, it's very important that no one records this. Okay, good. Because I'm about to say who these people are, and I would prefer to not have that on tape. <laughs> Sorry, sir, is that a camera on the table pointing right at me? Okay, great. All right. <laughs> I say these people, I mean black people. <laughs> I mean, what's the big deal? He's just telling the truth. Okay, black people aren't going to vote for Mitt Romney. Uh, if I was black, I would think Mitt Romney was king of the honkies. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I like seeing an honest moment from a politician. Yeah, well, you know, you're in luck because that's not the only video that surfaced this week. Uh -huh. Here's a cell phone video of Mitt Romney talking to voters at a McDonald's. <laughs> You know, people think I'm fancy, but I like nothing more than to end the day with one of these fine hamburger sandwiches from the good people at the McDonald's. <laughs> oh, boy, that's disgusting. How do you people eat this garbage? Oh, my goodness, I'd, I'd complain to the chef, but let me guess, no outlying glass, right? <laughs> I didn't, get the, I didn't get this taste out of my mouth. Do you mind? <laughs> oh my God, that was soda pop. Uh oh, here comes the sugar block. Why Santa Claus? Okay. <laughs> Santa Claus isn't a real person. Oh, come on, let's not have this argument again. <laughs> All right, I think tapes like these are only going to help Mitt Romney. I mean, here's another one. Uh, four seasons, please. <laughs> TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi cab. All you have to do is answer some questions. First question is worth $25. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We're not going to answer questions for a quarter. <laughs> $25. Right, which is a quarter of $100. Is there any other type of quarter? I don't understand. The question is, the Hotel California, you can check in, but you can never trust the staff with your values. <laughs> Yeah, but it's especially true in California, a.k.a. North Mexico. <laughs> and if you don't mind, could you wire my winnings to the Cayman Islands? We do that for tax purposes, you know, to pay less. That was great! That was great! What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that! My dream is to be on cash cash. <laughs> I spent entire weekends just taking a different taxi, block to block at a time, hoping to get my chance. <laughs> Let me know, hey, Mitt's just like me. I mean, do you sing in the shower? I mean, you bet. Yeah, and what about you, Brian? Oh, no, if I sing in the shower, I always miss a bunch of spots. <laughs> Mitt sings just like me, as we can see from this secretly taped shower. Oh, poor people hate having jobs. Poor people hate having jobs. You know, the poor. Really weird. <laughs> he is waking up and going to a job. <laughs> That's a catchy song. <laughs> we'll take a quick break, but first our fact checkers have one or two corrections from the first two hours of the show. <laughs> of a four-year-old Barack Obama asking for something called Pasquetti? Does he not know how to pronounce it? Well, maybe, maybe that's how they say it in Swahili. Uh. <laughs> so stay tuned and live from New York Thursday here are tonight's top
stories. This week, a shocking video was released that appears to show Mitt Romney telling an audience exactly what they wanted to hear. <laughs> Look, it'd be easy to pile on Romney after that tape, but we should know by now, just because Mitt Romney said something does not mean he believes it. <laughs> if that had been a room full of fat kids, he would have told them cake is a vegetable. <laughs> Romney did apologize for his comments, though he did say they were not elegantly stated. Apparently, he meant to say, 47% of Americans are victims and have a sense of entitlement, m'lady. <laughs> As for his claim that it is not his job to worry about Americans who don't pay taxes, I wouldn't worry, buddy. It's looking less and less like it will be your job. <laughs> attended an exclusive fundraising event in Manhattan organized by Jay-Z and Beyonce. Sounds like a good endorsement for the president because when has Jay-Z ever backed a loser? Oh, right. <laughs> that time. Newsweek magazine has created controversy with its cover story titled Muslim Rage. The controversy is they stole the cover idea from last month's issue of Cat Fancy. <laughs> says that she has discovered a 4th century fragment of papyrus that she claims is proof that Jesus Christ was married to Mary Magdalene. The professor even claims that Mary Magdalene popularized the phrase, Jesus Christ, pick up your socks! <laughs> An Italian magazine this week became the third tabloid to publish topless pictures of Princess Kate, but I think I'll hold out for the commemorative plate. <laughs> And a couple was caught on video having sex in a Yankee Stadium bathroom, and no Red Sox fans, it wasn't these two. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Waking Update Thursday after this commercial break.